Craft. Craft never changes. Hi there, welcome to the Metal Crafter. If you don't have a 3D printer or you can't get Morpheus STL file, you can still make your own Crash UFO build, like I did. Fallout 3 version in this case. I had this plastic salad container which I thought it had a great shape for the top of a building, the entrance to a vault or a platform. So when I decided to make this Crash UFO build, I knew that would work very well as the main structure. You can also make it modular and reuse it as a wasteland hill. Let's hit the team! I'm going to use two objects for making the UFO's main structure. This plastic egg for the rounded cockpit and a plastic salad container for the rest of the ship. In case you find a small rounded frisbee, I think that has a UFO-like shape you could also use for this purpose. The salad bowl is pretty weak though and wouldn't be easy to handle to make the ship's body. So I thought on using it as a mold instead and casted two pieces with my favorite mix of PVA, water and Paris plaster. You could also use some expanded foam to fill it in instead, but that's pretty expensive what I live. Added some paper towel pieces to the mix to give it more strength while it dried. Left it to dry and harden for a day and then unmolded it. The cast ended up hard as stone, smooth as glass and kept details very well. I then started marking the body of the ship to define middle points where the cockpit would go, where flaps would be placed, etc. Used some plastic blocks as guides to get lines straight and even proportions. As the surface has different levels, I started carving some recesses for the flaps to fit in. Like I mentioned, the cast is very hard, so this took me some time. Since I had to cut a deeper and bigger piece for the cockpit to fit, I went to the backyard and used a bigger saw for that, and then smoothened the edges with the plier and some files. Also carved some cross lines on the sides and some compartments on the back. Here we see how it looks. I was going to make the flaps with foam, but before that I made a kind of a stencil with chipboard to adjust the shape to fit the ship. Then cut three flaps and rounded the edges. Made some additional carvings and then glued them with liquid silicone. Also glued both ship parts together and then used some plastic leftovers to make some engine pieces in the compartments in the back. Started working on the cockpit, defining the layout and marking the lines with a marker. Then used a sharp tool to carve the lines and I heated a knife to make the holes. Make sure you do this with good ventilation as the melted plastic will make some toxic fumes. Then cut a small chipboard piece to place below the cockpit and to make the inner parts of the ship's hull.
Continuing with the cockpit, cut a rounded chipboard piece to make the back and use a plastic disposable container to glue some pieces inside. Glue it with super glue and use the help of some clothespins to hold the pieces together. I really wanted for the front of the cockpit to have a glass look and the X plastic had no transparency. It would be very hard to find a similar rounded piece to fit the rest of the egg, but it had this small translucent plastic cup I could use. Even though it's not fully rounded, that part of the cockpit was crashed during the landing, so only part of it had to fit. Its diameter was also smaller, so I made a cut and then added some length with further material. With a plier, I made further cuts and broke the pieces to add broken glass details. Adding some further details to the back with extra chipboard, like panels and a hatch. Used a small paper clip piece to make the handle. Also worked on the platform with some foam and a broken car's plastic seat. Added some details like computers and some screens and railing to the front. Glued a chipboard stripe to the glass where it meets the rest of the egg. Going to the back of the ship, I used different rounded shape bits to make some boosters and added some wide plastic straps to the sides. Also carved some rivets. With this, the ship's main structure is ready and I can move on with the base. I used some MDF and started by marking the position of the ship and some main rock formation. Cut some big foam pieces and glued with liquid silicone. Continued with small pieces and then gave the base a decoupage layer. As mentioned, I wanted to make the build modular and be able to remove the UFO so the hill could be used in a different scene. I covered the ship with some plastic wrap so it wouldn't get glued to the base and started covering the base with plaster. Then smoothened the surface with a wet brush and placed the ship in the desired lean position. Once dried, I took the ship out. Used some cut litter and regular sand to add further texture to the base. Then reinforced with some diluted PVA. Proceeded to add final details to the ship and painting. First, gave the entire piece of black plus decoupage base and then a light base of grey, or dry brush of grey, basically, to the entire hull. Added a light brown wash to the inner part of the cockpit and the engine parts. Wanted for the glass to have more presence, so gave it a light paint with a shiny light blue. Finally glued the cockpit to the ship and added a plinth to hide the joint. Made a dark brown wash and added to the whole ship. Once dried, I dry brushed with gunmetal, especially on the edges. Moving on to painting the base, 
I used several black and brown washes instead of going with a base color. After that, I dry brush with my favorite wasteland brown color, then with gray, and finally with some white. I really wanted to highlight the bill with an extra detail, so thought about making the dead alien. I got a mini of the alien as extra in the two player starter box, and so used some blue stuff mold, which is basically silicon, to make a duplicate using two pot epoxy. I git bashed the post to look hurt and then painted it. That's it! Let's take a look at our crashed UFO. Even though I took some liberties in the ship's design and it's not 100% accurate to the one in the game, I think it still gives that 50s UFO vibe and it would be a real highlight to the table. The alien detail was a fun one to make and since it's a bulky and heavy build, being able to reuse it as a regular wasteland hill definitely adds much value to it. I hope that you enjoyed the video and remember to hit the like button if you did. Subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications if you don't want to miss future follow builds and other crafts that I'll be making. Also join me in the Instagram and Facebook pages to get further pictures of my creations. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next craft.